about to get started. Guys, what you're looking at here is Pathypus novum cinctus. That's a scientific name for the nine-banded armadillo and the state's small mammal mascot in Texas. And what we're doing here today is we're having armadillo races. Now, armadillo racing in Texas is the sport that is most closely aligned to NASCAR. <laughs> that's right, ladies and gentlemen, that's because we found we have to have someone steer these animals, otherwise they have a tendency to veer into the wall, they burst into flame, it becomes horribly ugly quickly. So the very first thing I need out of the crowd today are three volunteers from the crowd. I'm gonna get three volunteers from the crowd. We've got one so far, we'll take you as well, and I'm looking for one more person, you sir. So if you'll make your way right over here to this Texas flag, we're about to open up that gate, and we'll let you in there. Now guys, if you'll start line up in a single file line once we get all three of our racers there, I'm going to ask you to walk in quickly. Walk into the pin quickly, please. Uh, no dillo dally. Come on in, guys. Come on in. All right, we'll get you to stay right here. You're the, uh, the Coast Galloper, is that what that says? The Gulf Coast Galloper, what's your name? Little Tex right here. Yeah, in lane two. And your name is Mark Hill, right here, Lane. There you go. You guys are already prepared there, I like it. We've got uh, the Gulf Coast, uh, Gulf, what we got there? Galloper, the Gulf Coast Galloper. The Little Tex, which is very appropriate for our uh, Large man Andrew in lane two. <laughs> What's the next one? The next one's pretty appropriate. Too. And uh, roadkill out of yeah. lane three. There, you gotta like that as well. You got your names set, so if you know who you're cheering for, they get to that there. And uh, we've, we've got Megan, Andrew, and Olivia. Wonderful. Can you guys give our racers a round of applause? That's right. The crowd it goes wild. Guys, as you can see, we handed each of these people a pair of gloves. That's mostly because I'm not sure what you guys have been touching this evening. No, actually, because here in a moment we're going to hand each of you a live oh. armadillo. It's going to be your job to put a firm grip around the base of their tail with your strong hand. If you're right-handed, you're going to use your right hand. If you're left-handed, I want you to use that left hand. But when we bring the animal to you, you're going to put a very firm grip around the base of their tail with that strong hand to keep the armadillo on the ground at all times. With your off hand, you're going to put a gentle hand on their shoulder, and you're going to face them in this direction. And that's because if you face them in that direction, your chances of winning the race are greatly diminished. Guys, you can tell Andrew means business here as he takes off his jacket, stretches his arms, and cracks his knuckles a little bit there. He's ready to race. I like it. All right, so once you have you lined up there, the first thing you're going to say to yourself is, Seth, this animal is a heck of a lot stronger than I thought he was. So make sure you're holding on tightly, okay? Now, once we're there, I'll say a few things. First thing I'm going to say is, oh, armadillo is on your mark. That's because my armadillos like to know what's coming next. And then I say racers get set, and guys, when I say racers get set, that's when I want to see your game face. Can we get some game faces out here, guys? I don't know, I think that Andrew is questioning his life decisions that have led him into the pen here today. And then I'm going to say, and they're off, guys. When I say, and they're off, that's when you let go of the armadillo. Now, let me repeat that last little bit. When I say, and they're off, you must let go of your armadillo. If you hold on to it by the tail, and you push it down the line like this, that's called a hoover, and you will be disqualified. Okay, no hoover here in Texas. Now, there are a few ways you can legally inspire your armadillo. You can pat behind them, slap behind them. Two beautiful ladies in the pin. They're ready to race for you guys. Two beautiful ladies in the pin here today. Uh, blowing in their ears is a very effective technique. But remember, the best way to inspire a Texas armadillo is if you can make the sound of a Mack truck. That really gets them going, and we're not quite sure why. All right, homo, let's go ahead and line them up here for our next heat of armadillo racing, the Sport of Kings. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Angie, don't flush him. Armadillo's on your mark. Racers, get set. And they're off. Let them go, let them go, let them go. 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 Let uh, she, she's our oldest female here today. She'll be 11 in March. Oh my gosh. So, she's very used to being around people. 
<laughs> here, let's all turn and look at the camera. Okay. Get in here. Oh, no. <laughs> Ready? You guys go first. You guys go first. <laughs> 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 Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> this is, however, another swift and mag mag majestic animal indigenous to the great state that commands respect and admiration. So we're naming the Blue Cross of Idaho Armadillo Moose. I don't have a write up for road rage. Road kill, there it is. Yeah, but we don't have road kill tonight out there now. Uh, what, what are the. <laughs> Copay and Lone Star Speeder. I don't have name. Copay. Okay. There's yeah. Copay. Okay. Where's Lone Star Speeder? I don't have a Lone Star Speeder anymore. Okay. That's okay. I love the name Copay. We're going to have a little Armadillo, <laughs> a small wonder. Oh. Sorry, I wasn't ready to read off all of these guys for you. When people retire, they tend to head for the hammock. But our clients at TRS never quit trying to get the best health insurance they can for their teachers. A real challenge in today's environment, which is why we're calling their armadillo Copay. So we got Copay. And we've also got Lone Star Speeder. Now there's not a there's not a write-up for Lone Star Speeder, but you can just tell. Lone Star, hey man, we got the Lone Star right there. It's gonna fit perfectly for a good company here. And Speeder, you gotta be speeding down the highway with these armadillos. She's ready to run. Guys, before we go any further, I would like to point out the shoes here. We have all the footwear we have here. The official shoe of Armadillo Racing, the heel there, the the four-inch heel is perfect for armadillo racing. You ladies look wonderful here tonight. All right, so we're going to hand each of you a live armadillo. It's going to be your job to put a firm grip around the base of their tail. If you're right-handed, please use your right hand on the base of their tail. If you're left-handed, use that left hand. You use the opposite hand up on their shoulder, and you're going to face the armadillos in this direction. Maybe a good idea. Yeah, she's getting the uh, little text uh, hints there. I think Andrew was our first winner there, so she's trying to get an inside uh, scoop there on how to race their dillos. I like that. But remember, follow through is really important. We got three beautiful ladies in the pen today blowing in there. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute there, Kim. There's no dancing with these armadillos. They're all Baptist armadillos and they don't believe in dancing. Alright, so once we have them lined up there, we want you to uh, uh, stick with your animal all the way to the end. If you look at your feet here, we have a set of traffic cones down there. 16 feet later, another set of traffic cones down here. And folks ask me all the time, 16 feet, 16 feet, why did you pick 16 feet? Well, that's actually the average width of a country road in Texas. We know armadillos can make that distance at least most of the time, right? <laughs> Guys, and I just saw that with, uh, with Crystal helping out... Uh, Right here in lane one, getting the jack. Yeah, I love that. The sportsmanship, the camaraderie. Usually, when I get folks in competing for armadillo races, their elbows get real sharp real quick. So they're being kind there. I like it. And remember, when I say and they're off, you gotta let them go. But you can pat behind them, you can slap behind them. It's the first nose over the line that's gonna be our winner here tonight. Hold on, let's go ahead and line them up for our next heat of armadillo. <laughs>
and sometimes it doesn't. Given the nature of health care and the often unfortunate fate of armadillo in Texas, we're naming this one Roadkill. We got another one here for you. For Anthem, we pledge allegiance to all our clients. Getting more specific, we love our Anthem. In fact, we stand up for it every Astros and Rockets game. Most of us, anyway. So we're naming this Anthem armadillo Jose Can You See. So we got Jose, and we've got Roadkill. We had one more uh, without much of a breakdown. Do you remember what yours the furry that scurries. The furry that scurries. I think that speaks for itself. So we'll let it stand right there. And remember, once you get your uh, firm grip on your armadillo, we want you to follow through to the end. It's the first nose over the line that wins. I like how excited he is there in, game, in lane one. Let's set him down. Set her down. We'll bring her to you. Hey, guys, if you're going to be gambling, lane one, uh, Devin, he's ready to roll already. You got like that, right? <laughs> Hey guys, before, before we were allowed out here, actually, Long Guard wanted to make sure we had a few things taken care of. First, they want to make sure are these trained racing professionals? Yes. Well, Homer and I, we took all of these armadillos and we road tested them right out here on Kirby Drive. And we only brought you guys back the survivors. All right. <laughs> and with the scourge of performance enhancing drugs in America today, the folks at Long Guard, they wanted to make sure there was no chance that any of these animals were doing any kind of steroids. No PEDs, <laughs> no blood doping. Let me tell you, it is not easy to get them to pee in those little bitty cups. But Homer did it for you guys. We got a drug free herd here today. That's right, guys. And remember, make that sound, that Mack truck. We haven't had anyone make that Mack truck sound. There it is. She's ready to go in lane three there. I love it. And Homer, let's go and line them up. Okay, right here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on. All right, guys, here we go. Lining up. Armadillo's on your mark. Racers, get set. And they're off. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 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 Let's go, let's go
This is what we call the Parade of Jockeys! That's right, ladies and gentlemen! You can see the excitement in the crowd's faces. They know they're in for a treat here tonight. Exciting moment. So you're already a winner for being in the pen. We know that Armadillo Racing, there's never a loser in Armadillo Racing. But we've got one grand prize. Is that right? One grand prize for our champion of this race here tonight. So we got a real reason to fight for it, to separate yourself from the other champions. And guys, get your bets in now, because those wet betting windows are closing, right? One more last little bit of advice for the rest of our racers. Remember, follow through just like any other sport's really important. And guys, if you're really gung-ho, oh get down on all fours and blow underneath their undercarriage. <laughs> yeah, it really sends a shiver down their spine and gets them out the gate every single time. Remember guys, follow through is really important. Let's get them back for our last chance here. Oh, yeah.